So it's been a few days since I posted a video, but I've been insanely crazy busy and I'm about to show you why and how I was so busy in this video. So Roscoe and I are tearing down my ceiling in here because the kids floor upstairs is cold and come to find out it's only insulated through this part here but the whole outer part is not insulated and that's where all the cold air is coming into my kids bedroom floor so we're going to finish tearing all this out here we're going to re-insulate the whole thing fill any cracks we have with uh, foam insulation and then we're going to redo the ceiling here to keep the cold off but look what we found up inside there big old nest from wasps so we realized real quick that the little bit of insulation is up there it's like two inches thick they never stapled it to the joists so it all has fallen down and the joists run all the way to the back of the house leaving the floor completely open all the way through so it was just letting the cold air come up through the front part. The front part out closest overhang doesn't need to be insulated. It's just the part where you see insulation now. It just needs to be done a lot better. So what we did is we end up just filling all the gaps with spray foam and then we packed like 14 inches of insulation in there. We stuffed it up in there as far as we could and then we layered it right on through in between all those joists and then we folded it over and packed it in the end. We found this nasty beehive which I've been spraying in the end by the gutter for the last year and a half. A wasp coming in and out of there but you can see it that's what it looked like. So the whole face of that board there um, above where it's black that's the wall that goes up on the outside of my house so we yeah see it's open all the way on through but we put a cell tech or whatever it is uh, across the face of that. You can see it there now silver on the left and blue on the right to uh, insulate right across there and then we just started packing that insulation in there we put two by four boards across dropped the ceiling down about two inches and then we went over it again with tongue and groove like what was up there and uh, see we just have it packed in there everywhere we could get insulation we packed it in there and uh, just loaded it right up so there's absolutely no air getting in there now that's going to go into any of the floors in my upstairs and then we plastic the whole thing with three and a half mil plastic for a vapor barrier and then uh, we went over it with the new tongue and groove I think it come out great and uh, I went upstairs the, that night when I did it and it, the floors were extremely warm up there so it worked out really well here is the finished product and I got it all trimmed out the trim boards all the way around now the original plan was to burn it with a torch to bring the grain out and then clear coat over top of it but I decided that I don't like the way that looks up against the blue so we're just gonna paint the whole thing white and when I say we I mean my wife because I hate painting and she's really good at it and then the white will match the door and all that funky stuff so it'll look good so last night we decided to go out and get a fish fry for dinner and my youngest son Noah wanted to go to the golf dome which we go to a lot um, they have an awesome driving range there, an upper level and a lower level, and it's a lot of fun. And look what I did. Oh, that's my driver. This was my 7-iron. Isn't that nice? After whacking about 20 or 30 golf balls, I hit one, and from the upper level, the upper deck, where it has like a upper tier type deal um, I hit it and I felt my club get really light on my backswing and I looked out and I saw the head of my seven iron go flying way out there so that's not good time for a new seven iron but anyway I just recently posted a video on Instagram showing that I got all the mowers in here I did get the uh, the ferris out back so this is gonna be the this is gonna be the setup in the garage for the summer it's gonna be the MT obviously with the 48 inch deck the B with the 56 inch side discharge and then the new right sport X not the I it is a sport X a lot of people have asked me the sport I 
is roughly the same thing, but it's the smaller frame, the smaller model. The Sport X is the bigger of the two. So this is the Sport X, and uh, this has a 52 inch deck for those of you that don't know. But a lot of you guys have been telling I wanted a new compressor because forever I've been running that tiny little thing down there, and then I had that huge one I had to sell. Well, when Ryan and I were going up to get supplies for that ceiling, I found this. Now I've been wanting like a 20, 21 gallon, and I've been looking at a bunch that were like 150 PSI max. Um, but we walked into Home Depot and I found this Husky, and it is 175 PSI, and it is a 30 gallon. Now, there it is right there, 30 gallon. Now this one's normally uh, 389 and they had it clearanced as a reconditioned model. They even wrote recon on it right there. They had it clearanced as a reconditioned model for 210 bucks. So I bought it and when I got to the register they said you can have a three year free replacement warranty for $55. So like 265 I guess when you add it all up. I got the whole thing and now I have a compressor even a little bit bigger than what I wanted and what I needed and I got it for far less than what they cost. Now as far as an air compressor, the reason I don't need a bigger one is because one, this isn't a real big garage, it's not a real big shop and I really don't use an air compressor for a lot. I use it mostly for once a week or twice a week blowing the air filters out on the mowers. Um, blowing down in all around the engine to get the debris and everything off that's built up throughout the week and filling up tires um, anything big that I need it for like I have my I have my Milwaukee impact this is the bigger out of all the Milwaukee impacts that they make um, and it's something like 1400 foot-pounds of torque now my air impact is only like a thousand or twelve hundred foot pounds of torque so that battery one is even better so for anything heavy that's what I usually use so I don't really need the compressor anyway but you'll see I still have the saw in here and I still have a bunch of other stuff I need to clear out of here and there is the uh, accelerator that will be mounted on that which I still haven't done yet and then the trimmer rack which I still haven't done yet um, I didn't show you guys, but I told you I ordered it. This is the Stens that I use, Stens Shield. And each one of these bottles is good for um, a two and a half gallon can, but it came in, so I'll show you guys that. I did get my new steel um, filters and a 10 pack of the steel spark plugs are the ones I need for my steel, my trimmers and everything to get those ready for the year. And I am ready to go. Oh, one more thing. I there's the equipment defender racks i still haven't gotten on the trailer yet because i've been so busy with that ceiling and then in that box there are the gorilla lifts they showed up one thing i got a lot of feedback on those gorilla lifts some good some bad and let me just explain to you why i went with gorilla lifts now a lot of people said they're junk you know they break all the time so many people there are so many companies in my area that have those and they've never had an issue with them they've never broke ryan as a matter of fact on his 18 foot open for like four or five years he's had those on there with constant use and employees he's had beating on them and everything else and they've never broke so um i'm not worried about it the reason i went with the gorilla lifts is because they have a 325 pound rating and a lot of people suggested by rackham the double barrel lift those are only rated for 200 pounds as is the one that i have on there now just that single that i've showed in past videos that's also rated for 200 pounds and my gate was all of 200 pounds before i added that one foot extension with three inch square tubing a uh, quarter inch thick steel so that put a lot extra weight on there and i just wasn't comfortable going with something that's only rated for 200 pounds especially knowing i have one on there now that's only rated for 200 pounds that isn't cutting it so for 160 bucks i got these gorilla lifts shipped right to my door and i'll put them on if i get three years out and i got to replace them so be it